friends focus of this video I want it to be self-care centered and what I do on an everyday basis as a new mom I've been a mom for a year now um, what I do you know as my self-care my first thing I like to do is inwards right inside in my body and I like to take vitamins um, that just makes me feel better Taking a probiotic really does help it settles my stomach because I do have stomach issues um, I have a very sensitive gut who knows I may have a leaky gut um, but it gets so bothered by food if it's not a hundred percent clean it is bothered my stomach is just bothered and especially when I go out to like restaurants and things like that or to have fast food or have a lot of dairy my stomach is like stop I do take a liquid probiotic it's by Mary Ruth and it's organic I like this one because I've noticed a big difference in my gut when I do take it you guys may take this as TMI or not but I do have a regular bowel movement if I don't I'm not a regular goer so I need all the help I could get. The probiotic makes a difference. Then I also take vitamin B12 by Mary Ruth and it's also organic. I also take omega-3, the postnatal one by Nordic Naturals. I got this one at Whole Foods. I was taking um, the prenatal one because it has DHA in it. This one is supposed to support you postpartum. And also, while you're nursing, you could do the prenatal or the postnatal one if you're nursing. And then I just take a regular schmegular vitamin C by Whole Foods. And the reason I take an extra vitamin C supplement in combination with my multivitamin is because when I gave birth, the doctor told me if I'm going to breastfeed, I need to have extra vitamin C so I don't get brittle bones because that is a risk apparently, which I did not know. I know in pregnancy it is, like your teeth could literally fall out. But I didn't know that could happen postpartum, but I guess they're taking extra nutrients from you. I don't really know. But, yeah. And then I take a multivitamin by Mary Ruth, the pre and postnatal. I really like this one, but while I was pregnant, I was taking Garden of Life prenatal vitamin because I really love their regular woman's health um, multivitamin. The one a day one, I noticed a difference with that one. But I wanted to just get this one, one, because it's more affordable and you get a lot more um, products. But also the ingredients are really good and I'm just like, this is just a supplement. It's not like I need it, it's just a supplement. So I felt comfortable taking it and it's a really good one as well. So as you guys can see, I really do like Mary Ruth. So I'm going to take them. I will take my pills on camera. Because, I don't know, it's interesting to, I'm a nurse. So I've seen how people take vitamins and it's just or pills and it's just interesting to see how different everybody takes their pills. So I'm gonna show you how I take mine. And oh my goodness, I tried the liquid version of the postnatal omega-3, which is basically like fish oil. It's disgusting. I couldn't do it. I would literally almost do up every time. So back to the pill form. I'm gonna just do the spray of this. And then I already took this one this morning. This one's actually good. It tastes like a fake berry. So, I'm going to just use my water. I only could take one pill at a time, but I've been taking pills until I was about 8 years old, so whatever. And it was only like, I think Tylenol or something. Like if I had a fever or something random. Because my mom wasn't even into giving us medicine when we were younger, but... So this is how I start my self-care every night, by taking my vitamins, that's why I'm showing you guys this, and it just gives me peace of mind because I'm like, at least I took care of myself today, right? Even if I didn't eat the best, or feel the best, or whatever the case may be, I'm like, at least I took the time out to take my vitamins. Now, there is some days that I'm extremely tired and I don't take any of my vitamins, but that is very rare because it genuinely makes me happy to take them. So, something else I do for self-care, which I didn't ne I've never thought of this as self-care when I was younger, but now as a mom, it literally keeps my mental stability and health like in check is having a tidy home for when I wake up in the morning. It's a game changer, you guys. So, every day Literally every day I've been doing this for the past month. I 
do all the dishes before I go to bed, which is something that I didn't always do, right? Like, if there was, like, say, one plate left in the sink, I would just leave it. But I realized that really bugs me in the morning to see dishes in the sink. I don't know why. I just feel like my house is untidy or whatever. So, I wash all the dishes that were used that evening. Because I basically wash dishes as we go throughout the day because our sink is pretty big. But it's not the biggest and it just looks very... Um, tidy if I don't so I try to do dishes at least twice a day um, but every night it's like a must so I do dishes I straighten up the kitchen I straighten up the dining room I fluff refluff all the pillows I vacuum that is every day and then I mop one to twice a week because Brayden is still crawling on the floor we have a dog that she's outside trained so you know that's already like mm. so we have to mop as well I do the bathroom like the bedroom and actually clean once a week or twice a week depending on when the house needs it and then a deep clean is about every two to four weeks it depends on my mood honestly and how much I can handle but tidying up every day has been a game changer it literally gives my brain like such calmness that's time away from your phone time to gather your thoughts but at the same time, you're tidying up your home and it makes the world of a difference, right? Oh, and I tidy up all Brayden's toys. Even though he's just going to mess it up again in the morning, I still tidy up everything. I put everything where it's supposed to be, where I like it to be. And then he can go find his toys and play with them. I just want to say, while I do dishes, most times I am watching YouTube because I do not like doing dishes whatsoever. But I do like a clean sink. So I got to do them because I don't have a dishwasher. When I have a dishwasher, I'm going to be so excited. Like, you guys understand, I'm going to buy everything dishwasher safe because everything's going in the dishwasher. Because my hands are so dry and I actually really like to do my nails. And I just don't like to do the dishes. I get all wet and everything. Anyways, let's montage this. I need to get a soap dispenser. <laughs> Mine broke. I just finished cleaning up my house like the big areas and things and that was part of my self-care so it was taking my vitamins and tidying up the house so in the morning I could wake up and feel at peace and not feel like there's so much chaos going on another thing I like to do is plan I like to write things down I like to plan out my days because if I don't plan on my day it's chaotic and all over the place and I feel like I don't have time for anything because in my head I have a running to-do list all the time and I have to just get it out on paper to feel a little bit relaxed. Like I'm not going to forget what I have to do. And then do those things. And I always do a top three priorities. So whatever my three big things are for that day. At the top of my to-do list. And then everything else could trickle down. And the lowest thing if I don't get to it. It's okay. It could get tagged along for the next day. But I try to get the things that are not my priority done within one week. Um, and that has helped me a lot actually because I was not a planner. I did not thrive on planning. I actually thrived on just doing things randomly and then having one big task for the day. But since becoming a mom, I have many things I need to do for myself, for my son, for my fiance, for my family. So I need to prioritize myself or else nothing's getting done. If I'm overwhelmed, nothing's getting done. So that has really helped me. And I got this journal at, T no, I got this one at Marshall's for eight bucks for eight dollars um which i think it's pretty good because it has like let me show you guys and then this is from 2021 to 2022 so i don't have to get a new planner for the beginning of the year so for instance it looks like this and on the side it says notes and then it has to-do list 
And then when you actually go in the journal, well, in the planner, it has the day. So it'll say the 31st Monday, the year, and then it has on the other side a part where it says notes and to-do list. And at the bottom, it has reminders and goals for the week. So ideally, I would fill this out weekly. Actually do it the day before. Um, and if I don't have enough time, like say um, I'm just like super exhausted early in the morning while I'm having my coffee, I will make my to-do list in my phone. So I do either one, um, writing it out actually makes me feel better when I get to check it off. I feel so accomplished, but sometimes I just have to do it on my phone because the time in the morning we just go in. So that is another way that I practice self-care for myself. Another tip is to journal slash meditate slash just write out your feelings, manifest, whatever you want to call it. So meditating really helps me keep level-headed, makes me feel at peace and like on a cloud basically. Like I just feel really good when I meditate um, and I don't do that consistently. So for me, that's a treat. I really want to get to the point where I do meditate every single day in the morning. Um, not really at night because I tend to fall asleep when I meditate at night. But in the morning, I would really love to do that every single day. Because I notice I'm less reactive. I'm more patient. I'm kinder to myself. I'm kinder to others. More just centered and just feel really good and come from a place of love. Which is what I always want to do, right? Because... I feel like God just teaches you that. So that's what I that's what I try to do. So that's number one. Number two, always list things that you're grateful for. That is a, a part of my self-care, showing gratitude because it makes me feel good. Like your self-care should make you feel good. So whatever you do throughout your day, make it feel good. Like make yourself feel good throughout your day. If it's a task that you don't like, try to look at it from a different perspective. So I always try to show gratitude for the things I have in my life, for the people I have in my life, from myself, um, for my son, etc. So you apply to your life um, how you need. So that's another way that I do gratitude. And I also just, I don't know if you believe in God or whomever you believe in, um, I always pray. I literally pray throughout the whole day. It's like my favorite thing to do. I love feeling connected to God. Why am I getting teary-eyed? <laughs> I'm like so emotional all the time. I don't know. Um, I really love to pray throughout the day. Like I'll just talk to God like thank you so much God. Like for instance, I'm always thanking God for coffee. Like I, I'm not joking. I literally pray to God. I'm like thank you God so much for this coffee. It's so good. Like I'm addicted to coffee now. If you guys don't notice. Um, but I just really enjoy the taste of it as well. And I love the like the feeling, the ritual of making it. So just do things that you love, but also show gratitude. That is like a really good self-care tip because it will make you feel good. Or if you're having like a bad day, think of three good things or even just one good thing. Like you're alive, you're eating, you're warm, you get to shower, um, you have a roof over your head, etc. Things like that. Then back to the journaling part. When I feel upset, happy, sad, whatever the case may be, I will just write out my feelings. I feel like once I write my feelings out, especially if they're bad feelings, they just dissipate. Um, I just feel like I got to be able to vent to somebody else. I didn't get on like opinions that I don't want, and I just let it go. So that's a really good tip for me, and I just do that when I have those feelings, so it's sometimes. But about every week or so I do manifest intentionally so every single day I do manifest I have a vision board in my room that is part of my self-care routine it makes me feel good it makes me happy to just visualize I don't want to live too much into the future but I also don't want to go into the future unknowingly and um kind of like willy-nilly um because I need some control in my life even though you really don't have control I like to think I do um but I also do write down my manifestation. So I'll put like how I visualize, let's say, my future or whatever goal I want. I will put it in present tense or I'll make I am statements. And that really just gets you going, makes you giddy, excited, happy. I highly recommend that. Um, and those are just those things I do. I always show appreciation. That's another part of my self-care routine and 
giving myself grace i'm trying to incorporate that into my self-care routine because like i've mentioned before i'm really hard on myself um and i'm really trying to love myself more because if you love yourself more you can give more love to others and everything just goes around um the next two things is showering every day because i have to like i i just have to i feel so dirty if i don't um, unless I'm like super tired and maybe I'll skip one shower um, for like a random day but I will wake up the next morning and have to shower immediately but I'm a night shower I love to shower at night and then my skincare routine which I will show you guys that when I do it hey guys so it's 1 30 in the morning I'm super tired but I got caught up on tiktok like for a little bit and then Brayden woke up because he wakes up throughout the night randomly um, because he wants to co-sleep when he's in his crib. He prefer to sleep with us so right now he's in the bed with my fiance and I'm gonna shower because I told you guys I have to shower like oh was I get so pissed at myself in the morning and I feel so gross. And I just feel like at night it's better to shower because you take all the germs off from the day. And I'm sorry about this angle and whatever you see. This is my real life. And that's my shower. So that's good. But I wash my face in the shower and I use this, the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. Um, it's a remove it all cleanser. You could use it also when you have makeup. And I really like this cleanser because you literally need a dog. You don't need more than that and it lasts really long and it's great quality. For my eye cream, I use the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. And I love this one because I have dark circles like naturally before like sleep deprivation and becoming a mom. And they just got worse. So I just put this cream and it kind of camouflages it. And it's super hydrating and in my skin... I get little dots under my eye if the eye cream is too thick. So it cannot be too thick, but then again, I don't want it to be like super thin. The face moisturizer I use at night is the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew. It's an oil-free gel cream. I really like gel moisturizers for the nighttime. It's a little bit thicker. And then my day cream, but it feels so good. I really like Summer Friday's products. I want to try their oil, but I have oily skin. I don't really need it, but it's winter, right? So at least where I'm at. But I just use Carmax, just a regular one. I like this. I like Carmax way better than Aquaphor because this actually. It moisturizes my lips, but it also just sits on top of it. Um, Aquaphor penetrates them, but then my lips get chapped really bad. But that is my nighttime mini skincare routine. That's like actually my skincare routine. It's very short and to the point. I want to start incorporating face mask in my skincare routine and maybe a toner and an oil, but I'm not there yet. Or a serum. I used to use vitamin C serum, but I stopped. Um, once it ran out, so I should probably get back to that. And I don't know if I want to try the, the Desi Skin one. I just used the Summer Fridays one that I was using before because it was really good. And hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm trying not to scream because my room is like right there. And I'm also really, really tired. But I hope you guys enjoyed day three of 12 Days of Christmas with me. And let me know what was your favorite part of today's video and if you do any specific Christmas traditions, comment down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye, guys.